Hello and welcome to Lesson Seller. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use Azure conditional access policies to block legacy authentication protocols. Now, the reason for blocking legacy authentication is it does not support multi-factor authentication or MFA. Let's say your credentials are leaked and even though you've got multi-factor authentication enabled on your account, a malicious person can use your credentials and a legacy authentication protocol to skip the MFA and still log into your account. So by blocking legacy authentication, you avoid that scenario. Uh, as you can see on the screen here, I've opened up the official documentation on Microsoft. And as for Microsoft, as of October 1st, 2022, they will permanently disable basic authentication or legacy authentication on all Microsoft 365 tenants, except for SMTP authentication or protocol. All right, now let's go ahead and I'll show you how this is done using conditional access policy. I've logged into portal.office.com. I'm going to click on admin icon and that will take me to Office 365 Admin Center. Click show all and click on Azure Active Directory. Click on Azure Active Directory, scroll down to security and click on conditional access. Now remember, in order to use conditional access policies, you need to have an Azure AD P1 license. So when you're in conditional access policies, click new policy and give it a user-friendly name. I'm going to name it block legacy authentication. And for this example, I'm going to use all uses, but in case if you've got user accounts or mailbox accounts that are using um, SMTP, uh, POP3 or IMAP, for example, um, all these legacy authentication protocols, you can add them to the exclusion list. So the policy won't apply to those accounts um, as a temporary solution. Uh, but I think moving forward, you should aim to get rid of all accounts that are using legacy authentication protocols and replace them with third party or alternative solutions like SMTP 2 go. Now, if you want to know more about SMTP 2 go or if you've got any questions around this whole process, please drop a comment below and I'll answer to the best of my ability. OK, so I've selected all uses and in here I'm going to define all the applications. I'm going to click all cloud apps and I'm moving on to conditions and in here I'm going to click on client apps. Under configure I'm going to select yes and I'm going to deselect browser, deselect mobile apps and desktop clients. These options use modern authentication clients so we don't want to worry about that. We don't need to worry about that. This is all about the applications that are using legacy authentication protocols. So make sure these two options are ticked, exchange active sync clients and other clients. Now, if you hover over this here, it will give you um, a list or more information about all legacy um, authentication protocols that this policy after enforcing will block. So I've selected both the options. I'm going to click done and under access controls, click here and go in and click block access and select. All right. Now, by default, Microsoft will recommend you that this policy is enabled in report only mode, which is, I think, a good idea, especially if you're not quite sure in your tenant, if you've got accounts, uh, that are using uh, legacy authentication. Um, if you know for a fact that you uh, haven't got any uh, application that needs legacy authentication, um, or um, if you have 
definitely included all the accounts that are using legacy authentication in the exclusion list on this policy. Uh, you can go ahead and um, turn the policy on straight away, uh, but uh, it is recommended that you run the policy in report only mode for at least a week and then check Azure signing logs and find out if this policy um, is being applied in the report only mode for any of the user accounts that you have in your tenant. So in this example, um, I'm just going to click on and I want my account to be included in this policy as well because I know that I won't be using any of the um, uh, legacy authentication protocols. So I click, I understand um, that my account will be impacted by this policy, proceed anyway, and finally click create. It'll take a couple of seconds and the policy will be um, enforced. All right, that's it for today, guys. I hope you learned something new from this video. If you did, uh, please like and comment. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.